New tonight, you'd be hard pressed to find a place you can rent for $500 a month. And soon it's going to be even harder to do in Laurel. Howard County wants to build a new homeless shelter on the site of the Beechcrest Mobile Home Park. ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer reports everybody must move and doesn't sound like they're going out quietly, Chris. Yeah, that's just one of the problems with this plan at this point. A lot of other people who live near that mobile home park along Route 1 say not only do they not want a homeless shelter, they feel like they should have been consulted before Howard County's Housing Commission spent $1.6 million to buy the land with the intention of building it. A big turnout in Laurel. If people who live near the Beechcrest Mobile Home Park did not know about the county's plan to replace it with a homeless facility, they do now. This kind of stuff should be out there for the community. You should be out here talking to us. Let us know what you want to do in our community. Before the purchase. Before the purchase. But the county's housing commission has already purchased the mobile home park for $1.6 million. And that's another problem. The 38 families who live here now will have to go. Next year, I'm going to be the next homeless. Do you have something for me? County officials say they do. Relocation assistance is still being worked out. Meanwhile, nearby residents continue to worry about the potential for increased crime and drug use related to the new facility. Look at me in my eyes. When you go to a restaurant that's open for look, chronically homeless shelter, I would ask you guys and shut me up right now. Look at me in my eyes. 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 Violent and sex offenders out. The hope is that improving conditions for the homeless might improve the overall community as well. This is obviously a better solution to them. They're either in encampments, they're living in transitional housing, they're living in motels. It's a better solution for them. Now, members of the Howard County Council are scheduled to vote on a portion of the funding for this facility at their regular meeting this Monday night. Christian Schaefer, ABC 2 News.